On behalf of the churches of the Athens Ministerial, Athens United Church, Addison United Church, Athens Baptist Church, Athens Christian Reformed Church, Athens Free Methodist Church, the Leeds Anglican Ministries, and St. Denny Roman Catholic Church, we welcome you to our online service for Good Friday. Traditionally, we gather together for the Walk of the Cross, followed by an ecumenical service at Athens United Church. This year, out of, um, out of an abundance of caution and limitations to numbers who can gather together for worship, we offer you this online ecumenical Good Friday worship service. Thank you for joining us today. Blessed be our God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, from whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our ancestors trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not human, scorned by others and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me and they make mouths at me they shake their heads. Commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mother's breast. On you I was cast from my birth. And since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. The Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the Place of the Skull which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, with Jesus between them. Pilate also had an inscription written and put on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Judeans. Many of the Judeans read this inscription because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city. And it was written in Hebrew, in Latin, and in Greek. And the chief priests of the Judeans said to Pilate, Do not write the king of the Judeans, 
but write, This man said, I am the king of the Judeans. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now, the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top to from the top. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see who will get it. This will fulfill the scripture says, they divided my clothes among themselves and for my clothing, they cast lots. And that is what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took, him in, took her into his own home. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. <laughs> 